afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I apologize. Late video tonight. I had uh, some dental work done this morning at three cavities filled. So if I sound kind of funny, I apologize. Uh, my mouth is finally uh, getting where it doesn't hurt and not numb anymore. So now, today we're going to review a trade-in that we got in the other day. And this is a little 2019 Coleman Lantern LT. Uh, basic little single axle camper. It's an 18 RB. It's uh, a 21 feet long, weighs 3,100 pounds. Uh, nice little camper. It's 18 feet, seven inches long total, including the tongue. Um, some folks traded this in on a brand new, no boundaries, guys. That's the only brand we carry brand new. Uh, they bought this brand new uh, three years ago, for almost four years ago. And guys, and this is how bad they get you on new RVs. They still owed over $18,000 after paying on it for almost four years on this camper. They were first time RV buyers, so they didn't trade nothing in. So you can't say they had negative equity on a trade in. They uh, went to course to rip off world. That, notice they removed everything on it that says uh, the name of the place they bought it from. Like most people do that buy from there after they figured out how bad they got screwed. And um, been camping in it, they said maybe 10 to 12 times if they had to estimate. And um, like most new RV shoppers got suckered into buying all those extra services like extended warranties and gap insurance and all that and actually winded up financing more on this little basic Coleman and they did a loaded out Nobo, a 2022 Nobo. Because guys, we sold them a brand new Nobo with no upsells for $12,000 under MSRP. In fact, it was so far under book that they were able to finance their negative equity and still have equity in the new Nobo and cover the negative equity on this. So it worked out really well for them. That's about the only, only kind of camper you can do that with. But um, nice little camper for those of you who want something basic small easy to use and it's got a 20 pound propane bottle on the front deep cycle battery 30 amp electrical service i'm running it on my generator right now and what's cool about it literally is it doesn't have a rooftop ac because it's a small little camper it's got a window unit and thanks to that i'm able to run it off my small little 2300 watt generator inverter generator real quiet generator so if you like to boondock you can buy a little cheap generator. I spent less than $500 for that one. And it will power everything inside of it. I've got the refrigerator and the AC on high cool running on that generator. And it will run several hours on a gallon of gas. So, you know, if you don't want to go to a crowded campground or something like that, you can plug that generator on with an extension cord away from the camper and not really disturb anybody. Um, nitrogen filled tires. Uh, local people that had this power awning. Now, one thing I want to point out, guys, and to show you how inefficient those uh, these are, um, they were new campers, and they didn't know you're supposed to put your awning up when it stormed out. It's a power awning. They bent one of the arms right here. Now, you can probably bend that back a little bit. It's just basically aluminum, real lightweight metal. It works fine. The awning goes in and out just fine, but it does stick out just a little bit. That's the only fault on the entire camper. But then again, guys, you're buying it for half price what they paid for it by the time the new, uh, by the time Rip Off World added all the fees and upsells to it. You're buying it for half price at 13.9. So you can probably bend that and make it a lot better. You're gonna make it perfect like a new one, no, but. And here's the thing, guys. They tried to turn it in under their extent, under their factory warranty. The claim was turned down because it wasn't a factory defect. They tried to turn it in under the extended warranty. They paid thousands of dollars for that. Their finance manager talked them into financing with the deal. Turned down again. But it worked fine. So they said to the heck with it. Or, well, they said it in other words. But, uh, <laughs> and they just, uh, uh, and just used it like it was. I've been using it for the last couple of years with that bent arm. And I'll go ahead and bring it in real quick and uh, retract it. 
you gotta kind of shut the door or the door get caught on it and you can see let me grab that door i don't want it to get caught on it that it works just fine goes in just fine and goes out just fine just like it is it just looks kind of funny a little bit funny when it's in and guys if i start sounding like mumbles on dick tracy i apologize my mouth is still a little bit sore and you can see guys it's no big deal it's just sticking out just a hair I mean, compared to the other side, I'd rather show you that. I'm not going to get in. I mean, that, that awning arm is, is pretty much uh, on back order. I mean, it would be several hundred dollars to replace that. It's not worth it to me. I mean, you can mess with that or leave it like it is. If it bothers you, you can probably mess with it, bend it a little bit, heat it up, bend it, probably make it a lot better. I just don't really have the manpower or the time to fool with it on a 13.9 camper. But inside, there's no smoke or pet odors. And I got the AC blowing cold. That's about a five or 6,000 BTU AC, which in this little camper is more than enough to cool it off. And it's a, it's a rear bathroom, so you got a queen bed in the front, stationary queen bed. Closets on each side, storage underneath the bed, books and manuals no flaking furniture you do have a table booth that makes a bed um overhead storage you've got a three-way rv refrigerator freezer about a three and a half four cubic foot that runs off electric propane or even battery and with a little drop down freezer in the top it doesn't look like it's hardly been used and the main reason they decided to trade was just so they could have something. Uh, they had an unexpected addition to the family, so they had an ex they needed something with an extra bed. Plus, they were kind of wanting something a little bigger, so they wound up getting a Nobo with a slide. Again, and that's what they said, their out-the-door price here on a new Nobo in 2022 was actually a couple of hundred bucks less than their out-the-door price on this 2019 Coleman at Ripoff World. By the time they added all the fees and upsells that we didn't add to our Nobo, the only thing we add to our new Nobos is sales tax. That's it, guys. And after, you know, they started watching my videos after they bought this and realized how bad they got screwed, especially when that extended warranty that they pretty much implied they had to buy wouldn't cover the awning. And they said, no. <laughs> they uh canceled all that got a little bit of money out of it and put that toward the payoff but not nowhere near what they spent on it got a stereo in it got some led lights like i said just a simple little basic camper no carpet i mean this is something that you just it's something that's very lightweight easy to tow back it or pull it into your site plug it up hook your water and sewer up if it's available Put your stabilizers down, you're camping. Nothing real complicated. There's no jacks, no slide, no, uh, you know, you can light your water heater. You got a six gallon water heater. You got a furnace in here. Turn your fridge on, turn your AC on, and that's it. This is a first time camper. This is ideal. Priced right at 13.9. It's gonna save you a ton of money off a new one. And this is, besides that awning arm, is as close to like new as you're gonna find in a used one. And look at this, guys. Got a big old bathroom. Got a place they never put a TV in here. You can see they never mounted a TV on the wall, but guys, a couple hundred bucks in a Walmart can get you set up for a TV if you need to add a TV in here and you can put it yourself. Uh, you can install one yourself in 30 minutes with a bare minimum of skills. Big old bathroom for a little camper. Uh, sink, mirror, uh, stand up shower. toilet little crank up top bent not bad guys and like i said it's not a real fancy camper but it's camping it gets you off the ground you can see the stove tops don't look like they've been cooked on they probably have it uh over the range of microwave is clean double basin sink it's a few plug-ins 
plugins um, around the bed for your cell phones or whatever. Sorry about that, guys. My mouth's starting to hurt a little bit. This is the most I've talked all day, believe it or not. Um, anyway, $13,900, and we'll hook it to power. We guarantee that we do a major systems inspection, guys, where we guarantee the major systems to work, which are um, the air conditioner, the plumbing systems, and the refrigerator and freezer to get the operating temp. Plumbing systems include water heater, water pump, faucets, spigots, toilet, shower, things like that. Everything else sold as is, but you saw the awning work, so you know it works. And uh, we leave, and the, all the lights work. Um, everything I've touched so far on this thing works, so I don't think you're going to have any issues there. But still, guys, you probably want to do one of two things or both. You either want to come out and look at it yourself, we'll hook it to a big generator, or run it to shore power. You can see everything for yourself work. It's a nice little camper. It's $13,900 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. Let them take the depreciation. And guys, remember, when you look at these things brand new, it's not just the price because you can't walk in there with a cashier's check for that price and leave with that camper. Not at a new dealership because that's not how they make their money. They make their money after the sale with the upsells, extended warranties, the gap insurance, the uh, tire and wheel packages, the campground packages, the uh, uh, even insurance and, and more, and all that stuff's marked up three or four times dealer cost. If you finance a camper through a, an RV dealership, they, they actually take the interest rate that their banks got you, that they do business with, got you approved for, and mark the interest rate up above and beyond that, and they get to keep the majority of that profit from the higher interest rate. So they get you coming and going, and that's why these folks still owed more than this camper listed for a new MSRP after paying on it for almost four years. It's more about payment, guys, and you see these ads for these $5 a day Coleman campers at Rip Off World? Don't do it, because let me tell you something. You buy that $5 a day camper, I hope you enjoy it because you won't be able to afford to trade it or sell it for probably 10 years. You're financing it for so long and for so much money that if you, after a year, you decide, you know what, this thing's too small or I want a different floor plan or, what, or I don't like camping or whatever reason, guys, you're going to owe way more on it than you can sell it for, way more on it than you can trade it off for unless you can come up with thousands and, and probably $10,000 just to be able to sell it for payoff. You're going to have to come up with probably eight to ten thousand dollars of your own money just to sell it for what you owe on it or trade trade it off for what you owe on it so don't do it guys it, it's there's more to lie there's a lot more to rv sales than a payment and guys the worst thing you can do is payment shop when you're looking at a newer used rv because that's where they get you at when you're a payment buyer they know that they can get you on the amount finance you need to worry about the amount you finance not your payment Payment will always follow the amount financed. The math never lies. Check with your bank or credit union, see what kind of finance programs they offer for campers. Uh, check with the dealer, see what they offer, see which one works better for you. Don't negotiate payment. Always look at the amount financed. If the, if the dealer starts trying to sell you on payment, if they pull out a menu in the finance office, start talking about different payment amounts with different options with each payment, like uh, this payment gets gap insurance extended warranty this this and this and this payment gets all that plus this this and this you know what i do guys i just get up and tell them thank you but no thanks and get up and walk away i don't care about payment i care about how much money i'm financing and what my interest rate is that's what you need to care about payment is the last thing i worry about if i'm looking at a camper then a, then a hundred dollars a month or two hundred dollars a month more or less is not going to phase my budget because it's a toy um you know if it phases your budget then you probably can't afford one to begin with but um and i'm just being on i'm not trying to sound conceited or like i'm really well off financially because i'm really not all that but i'm um i'm just telling you the truth these are luxury items you know payment is going to follow with what you finance you know, if you're on a very, very tight budget, you might want to you might want to step back from looking at campers and look at your financial situation and pay off some other loans before you start worrying about buying something like a camper. 
you know, I'm just giving you advice from 25 years in this industry and and uh, being in sales. And, and I've told people that, guys. When I was in sales, and I was in sales for several years, and I was very good at it because I was honest with people. Let me tell you something. And, and I know a lot of people watch my videos that want to get into RV sales. I'm going to give the best advice I can give you. I made a lot of money in RV sales by being myself. You know, what you see me on my videos, I'm not afraid to tell you in person. And let me tell you something. When you go to these big dealerships and they give you this sales course to teach you how to sell RVs, I know you have to take that course or they won't let you sell. As soon as you get out there on the yard, ignore everything they teach you and just speak from the heart. Listen to people. Treat them like you would want to be treated. Treat them like they were your family members. Okay, because here's the thing, guys, and, and a lot of salespeople don't realize this. These are your neighbors. You're going to see these people out at the gas stations and restaurants, and you know you want them. You don't. When somebody comes up and says, "Oh, hey, Bo, remember me? You sold me an RV." You don't want to cringe up like, "Oh, Lord, am I about to get cussed out?" No, you don't want to. You don't want to be like that, guys. You don't. I mean, I know you're not going to physically remember everybody you sold a camper to. Heck, there's no way I can. But you know, it's funny because I haven't sold RVs in probably ten or twelve years, and. I still have customers that come in that I sold to, to that remember me from way back then that never even watched my videos. They come in and ask for me to this day. And uh, yeah, I still talk to them. I mean, it's just the kind of salesperson I was. And you ignore all those courses they give you and just and just talk to them, guys. Uh, so that's my advice as far as a salesperson and, and getting into uh, uh, RV sales. Just, just be yourself ignore and i know a lot of times you can't i know a lot of dealerships are different that it's either their way or the highway and i get that if that's the case you're working at the wrong dealership if they won't let you have individuality and express individuality with your sales style so anyway well enough of that 13-9 haggle free firm if you're interested give us a call 706-965-7929 come take a look at it call before coming to look make sure it is available we are um we do have financing available with approved credit and down payment, no interest rate markup, or check with your own bank or credit union. And uh, this is now this is an affordable little lightweight camper, very easy to use. I think you'll enjoy it, guys. You know, this is what you're looking for, the floor plan you're looking for. You're not going to find one no nicer. Um, we take trade-ins and um, come out and visit with us. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. And um, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.